Tween seen July 28th. Constellation Wood Slices. Hi, tweens. Today we're going to do our last craft, craft for July. We're going to decorate our constellation, our wood slices with constellation. In this kit, you'll find your slice of wood with a pre drilled hole, a chart with some constellations, your paintbrush, some q tips, and a toothpick. And you should have some leftover white and black paint from painting your elephant. All right. So you're going to choose the constellation um, that's either on the chart that I gave you or pick your own. To start off with, you're going to set aside your string and your chart and your Q-tips and toothpick. And we're just going to paint uh, the black surface first. Make sure you have paper towel or whatever protective stuff handy. The neat thing about the wood slices is that it's easy to do a nice circle following the um, lines of the tree growth from the wood. Let's put down a nice thick coat. You can fill up your space as much as you want, as little as you want. I usually pick one ring and kind of follow it around. And then fill in. You don't have to leave the drilled hole unpainted. But if you do decide to paint it, make sure it's not clogged so that you don't have any trouble getting your twine in there later. All right, once it looks good, you need to let it dry completely before you add your white paint. And make sure you clean your brush. And I would let one side dry completely before you paint the other side. Make sure you clean your brush real well. All right. I've gone ahead and let my paint dry. And I'm going to do, um, I've painted both sides. And I'm going to start with, I think I'm going to paint the little dipper on this one, on this first side. But you don't have to choose one of these constellations. You can pick your own uh, doing a Google search on uh, online. Pick your favorite. So I'm going to open up my white paint. And I'm going to start with just the stars. And I'm going to try and make the stars about the same size as they are depicted in the constellation. And I'm just going to dip the tip of my Q-tip in and use that into the white paint and use that <clears throat> to dot my star's shape. All right. There we go. There's the little dipper. One, two, three, four, and then there's a few for the little pot handle. Like that. And now I'm going to use the toothpick to draw the connecting lines. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can just do the dots. If you make a mistake with these and you don't like how it comes out, you can always paint over it again with the black paint and start over. Just have to be patient. It can be a little tricky to paint a straight line with a toothpick.
All right, a little bit more, just do the handle. And I'm going to touch up my stars on the handle a little bit. Make them a little more distinct. Perfect. All right, going to let that dry. All right, these are on the other side. I painted the Southern Cross, and my little dipper is dry. And so all that's left to do is to. Um, Put your string up, thread your twine through the hole. It can be a little tricky because the twine likes to split, but you can get it in there. You might have to dampen the end of the twine or twist it a little bit more, make it easier to push through. There we go. And then you just knot your twine and it's ready to hang. All set. That's it for the summer. I hope you enjoyed your crafts this summer. Bye tweens.